What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be building this awesome kinetic light up speaker from KiwiCo. It's pretty cool. It's Bluetooth. Uh, I want I wanted to have an AOX speaker. This is the microchip that makes it Bluetooth, so I bought a new microchip that will be coming in soon to make it AOX. And then this is all the accessories. I kind of started off right here to make things go by faster. Here are the speakers. The lights, the cable, wiring. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to buy this and build it. To start this off, I need to get the bottom the bottom plate of this and put this microchip. But like I said earlier in the video, I got a new microchip that will be coming in tomorrow to make it AOX. So I'm not going to really follow the first steps. What I'm just going to do is just skip it and then just build the rest of the walls later. screwing it in I kind of uh, scratched it a little bit with the screwdriver but that should be good I just I'm just using this microchip just to test the speakers out make sure they're all working they're all wired up here so plug it in lights all wired up right here in the back gotta be careful um let's give it a test okay it works everything changes It works, which is good. It said it's supposed to like bounce, bounce, I mean like flash to the rhythm, which is cool. Man, now I'm just gonna continue building.
All right. Finally got all the four speakers. Top here, here. I'm just gonna leave. I'm not gonna put the back plate on yet because I have to wait for the new microchip with the AUX uh, port on. That way I could just put it in. I'm gonna have to drill a hole because it came off. So that way I, you know, plug it in, and then I'll put the backing uh, back plate on. And just test it out real quick. All right, let's test this out fully. Right here, there is um, these little tubes, which these are right here. You can slide this right on top. I'm not going to use these. Um, I'm going to use it. You'll see what I'm going to be using these speakers for in an upcoming video. Okay. Um, and I can just add these foam, add these foam balls. Get down there, you ball. Okay, one more, one more, one more. There we go. And then just add this capsule to prevent them from flying out. And I just plug this in. It. And let's give it a... See the balls falling. See you tomorrow. Okay. Um, it's so right the next day. My new microchip came in right here. Um, it's pretty cool. You have adjustable volume, which will, I guess, be useful. Right here, there's the AOX port. Um, power source is on the right. And the two uh, speaker outlets are on the right. It's Big boy capacitor. I think it was like um, 10, 10 bucks on Amazon. Actually, no, it was like six dollars. Yeah. Um, what's pretty nice about this is 12 volts. I have um, I just I have this little power thingy. It, 12 volts. It converts it into 12 volts. So it's been pretty cool. I'm just. That way I can have a 12 volt battery for, you'll see, for, for an upcoming video, you'll see what I'm going to be using this speaker for. But yeah, I'm just going to install this on. So I just put the wires in. Um, I'm too excited to just drill a hole and test it. I really want to test it out right now, so I'm just going to plug this in. Hey, it's working! Let's go! Oh, wow! It's actually working! No way! That's it all the way. Actually, this microchip is pretty cool. Works. With all the speakers. And this microchip is rated for 10 watts each speaker. And these two big speakers are 5 watts. And then the two little speakers are 
3 watts, so that's total 8 watts, and this is 10 watts, so um, if you want to do something like this, I recommend that you do not crank this volume all the way up, because then you'll destroy your speakers, because um, these speakers are a little bit too small for this kind of situation, but they work perfect. Drilled my hole right here. I have to take out the speakers that way I can drill these bottom holes so I can screw the microchip in. Um, sucks that this microchip didn't come with uh, a knob, so I'm gonna have to make my own knob. But if it's so, I'm just gonna use these screws to screw in my microchip. Unfortunately, I was trying to put the back plate on with all the new power cable and everything and these little things they stick out too much like I can't put the back plate on so I think I'm just gonna cut I think either either cut it or drill a hole okay, I can just put the back plate on and still use it well, yeah, I'll be right back. So I got my hole drilled out. Hello. Um, so now I'm just gonna shove it right through and we'll be done. And there you have it, a custom made, uh, light up kinetic speaker from Kimiko. Just, um, instead of Bluetooth, which is the old microchip, it's now with an aux cable. Um, and a different kind of power cord, because, um, this is my power cord. Yay. Instead of a USB, but hey, it's nice. It's what I needed. Uh, it for. Um, I actually have one of these speakers. Uh, except I, this one is just for Bluetooth. I actually got this one for Christmas. Um, yeah, and I'm just gonna. I just I wanted to have some speakers. You will see what I'm using these speakers for in, up, in an upcoming video. And it'll make sense why I got another one. And got an AOX so I can have an AOX cable. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Goodbye.